Is that when you hit the I dry stand? Know. Yeah, I have this guy. Oh, ouch. Sorry, I think we're coming. We are, but that's okay. It's all, it's all good stuff. Don't put that in there. Oh, okay. uh, well, first of all, congratulations on Thank advancing you. to round two. Coach, just you're, you look pretty worn out after a long five-set match. Yeah. Give me your initial thoughts as you advance to the second round. We knew, I think, that this was going to be a tough match. When we played them earlier in the year, um, it went five, and it was 15-13 in the fifth. Uh, they've progressively gotten better every single year. This is probably the best um, I have seen them play, but they're an awesome team. I mean, their defense was unbelievable. Jason does a really good job with his attackers and moving them in system and stuff. Um, I was nervous coming in, and it wasn't because I don't think our girls are prepared enough, but I just knew it was going to be a battle, and it wasn't going to be anything that was 3-0 or four sets. I had a feeling it was going to go five from mm -hmm. the beginning. Caroline, you're you're down two sets to one, and what 18, 13 in the in the fourth. What's going through your mind, and and how is the team able to to dig out of that deficit, and then eventually win the fifth? Right. Um, so obviously this is like do or die. So we were like, this is all we we just gotta go and do it, and we have to do it together. I think something we struggled with the first two sets was kind of being individuals and like getting down on our own errors. So when it came to that time, we just kind of realized that. It's, if it's going to happen, it's going to be together. So we just pulled together and we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. so, and we play better when we play together. So. Absolutely. Play together. <laughs> and I don't know if you prefer Alex or Rexy. Rexy. But, okay, yeah. Rexy. Um, big day for you with 22 kills and 15 digs. Woo. On the offensive side, what was clicking for you guys, especially in the latter part of that fourth set and then the fifth? Uh, I think we really stuck to our game plan, and even if it wasn't a kill, it was putting them out of system, and we were getting free balls, and then we were able to do whatever we want when we got the free ball. Um, so I think that we stuck with our deep corner shots and our sharp angles and moving them around a lot, so I think that really worked out for us. Mm -hmm. Coach, that fifth set, obviously your, your heart's pounding. It's really kind of back and forth. I don't know if either team, I think you guys had a three or four point lead at one point, but they kind of creep back and then, it, it, like I said, it just goes back and forth. What are you telling the team during those timeouts in during that situation? Of, shockingly, I didn't talk too much during the timeouts. <laughs> um, I let the girls kind of do their thing a little bit, but we talk a lot. I mean, we've had a lot of five setters mm -hmm. this year and um, we're getting pretty good at them, shockingly. <laughs> Most teams don't like them, but I feel like we feel pretty comfortable. We play a little bit more um, strict, I guess, and a little bit more disciplined, and we um, pay attention to details a little bit more. But we talk a lot about compartmentalizing things into mini games, so we worry about the first five points, then we worry about the next five, and then finishing. And so the girls seem pretty confident going into that and just worried about those little games in practice all the time. Our games are only to five. So everything feels comfortable in that situation at that point. And so we realize it's a clean slate, and then it's just those three little games. Mm -hmm. And for both of you guys, you know, in a fifth set, within, like you said, do or die, intense, what, what are you guys saying to each other on the court? How are you, how are you managing that without getting too caught up in the, in the emotion of things? I'd say we're just trying to keep each other high and um, attitudes up. You know, the other team's going to get their points, yeah. and we just have to, you know, think about the next ball and just stay aggressive, mm -hmm. not be afraid of it. Play for each other. We're mm -hmm. not playing for the audience, we're playing for us. Yeah. They do a good job of having a short memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Like, hopefully, you don't know if we've lost the point or won the point. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what we talk about. Sure, so. sure. Uh, and, Coach, I'll just wrap it up with you, whether it's, uh, whether it's UW Oshkosh yeah. or Bluffton. Tomorrow, what does the next 24 hours or so look like for you, and then how do you prepare to face either one yeah, of those Yeah, we try to do a lot of stuff just together and as a group. I mean, they'll talk to their parents briefly and hang out, but a lot of it is um, just hanging out with the team and kind of compartmentalizing. I actually have to give seven quizzes after this because <laughs> at our school, academics doesn't stop at any means. So we'll take care of some of that stuff, but we'll scout the next game, have a team dinner together, hang out at the hotel together, but we just try to compartmentalize as much as possible and just be together as a group. No matter what, it's only going to get tougher each round, and I'll, this is a great regional. And so everybody here is going to be competitive, so we'll have to come and play and refocus tomorrow. Get your heart rate down. Yeah. Uh, I'm aging about, you know, 10 years every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations you. again. Thank you. Thank you.